Today is Friday the 23rd of February, in the first week of Lent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. First reading, Ezekiel chapter 1, verses 21 to 28. Thus says the Lord, If the wicked man renounces all the sins he has committed, respects my laws, and is law-abiding and honest, he will certainly live, he will not die. All the sins he committed will be forgotten from then on. He shall live because of the integrity he has practiced. What? Am I likely to take pleasure in the death of a wicked man? It is the Lord who speaks, and not prefer to see him renounce his wickedness and live. But if the upright man renounces his integrity, commits sin, copies the wicked man, and practices every kind of filth, is he to live? All the integrity he has practiced shall be forgotten from then on, but this is because he himself has broken faith and committed sin, and for this he shall die. But you object. What the Lord does is unjust. Listen, you house of Israel, is what I do unjust? Is it not what you do that is unjust? When the upright man renounces his integrity to commit sin and dies because of this, he dies because of the evil that he himself has committed. When the sinner renounces sin to become law-abiding and honest, he deserves to live. He has chosen to renounce all his previous sins. He shall certainly live. He shall not die. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verses 20 to 26. Jesus said to his disciples, If your virtue goes no deeper than that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. You have learnt how it was said to our ancestors, You must not kill, and if anyone does kill, he must answer for it before the court. But I say this to you, Anyone who is angry with his brother will answer for it before the court. If a man calls his brother fool, he will answer for it before the Sanhedrin. And if a man calls him renegade, he will answer for it in hell fire. So then, if you are bringing your offering to the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your offering there before the altar, Go and be reconciled with your brother first, and then come back and present your offering. Come to terms with your opponent in good time, while you are still on the way to the court with him, or he may hand you over to the judge, and the judge to the officer, and you will be thrown into prison. I tell you solemnly, you will not get out till you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us today on this spiritual journey through the daily Mass readings. If you found inspiration, reflection, or a deeper connection to your faith, don't forget to hit the like button. Share this video with others seeking spiritual growth and subscribe for more daily readings. Let's build a community that embraces the wisdom of the scriptures together. Until next time, may your days be filled with grace and purpose. Stay blessed.